Hello friends, now I'll give you a quick and brief overview of the most interesting Linux distributions that will help you. Let's get started right away. First, where without it is not without the famous Ubuntu. Ubuntu, this is an ideal distribution for beginners in the world of Linux. There is no need to build applications from source code and mess around with settings for a long time. The system is as user-friendly as possible. Ubuntu has an intuitive user interface, which makes it easy to learn. It is one of the most popular distributions, and a lot of software for all occasions has been developed for it. If an application works in Linux, it will be adapted to Ubuntu, first of all. The distribution offers a wide range of pre-installed software and easy ways to install new software from official repositories. Pros, ease of use, active community, large selection of software, wide distribution of the distribution. Cons, Ubuntu's standard desktop shell may not appeal to some users because of its minimalist and modest settings. Linux Mint is for those who want a Windows-like interface. Ubuntu is good for everything except for its controversial appearance. It's quite pretty and stylish, but it tends to look too much like Mac OS. New users who have migrated from Windows may be put off by this. Those who want the familiar menus and taskbar at the bottom of the desktop should definitely install Linux Mint. Mint is a rather conservative, yet stylish looking and customizable system. It stands out for its stability and reliability. It is a very easy to work with distribution based on Ubuntu. Pros, simplicity, care for ordinary users. You will not need any specific knowledge to install and use Mint. Cons, a lot of pre-installed software that may never be useful. Manjaro is for those who want the latest software. Manjaro is based on Arch, an incredibly powerful and functional distribution. It's KISS. Keep it simple, stupid philosophy, contrary to its name, makes Arch too complicated for beginners. This distro can only be installed via the command line. Unlike Arch, Manjaro has a simple graphical installer while combining its powerful features such as AUR and rolling release. AUR, Arch user repository, is the richest source of Linux packages. And with Manjaro, you'll always have the freshest of them. The distribution comes with many desktop shells. Functional KDE, Genome for tablets, XFCE, LXDE, and others. By installing Manjaro, you can be sure that you will be the first to receive updates and use the most functional versions of programs. Pros, AUR, thanks to which you can easily install any application. Always fresh software. Cons, peculiar design of desktop shells. However, nothing prevents you from replacing it. Besides, the standard edition of Manjaro has a lot of unnecessary built-in applications. Arch is for advanced users, and those who want to learn Linux. No matter what the Windows apologists say, most Linux distributions are very easy to use. You will have no trouble installing them. Just click a few times on the next button and the system will do everything for you. But this is not the case with Arch. When you run it for the first time, all it shows you is a blank black screen and a blinking cursor on the console. You have to manually install the graphical shell, browser, other applications, and system tools by typing commands. In essence, Arch is a constructor from which an experienced user can build anything. If you want to understand how Linux works or experiment, you should definitely try Arch. If the console is intimidating, however, the distro will be too complex for you. Pros, AUR, providing a huge number of applications, always fresh software, lots of customization options, great useful wiki, fast performance. Cons, the distribution is not suitable for beginners, you will have to learn a lot of commands and read manuals. Lubuntu, for an old computer or netbook, Lubuntu is a lightweight Linux distribution that uses the LXQT desktop environment. It is very undemanding in terms of hardware performance, yet highly customizable. If you've got a computer or netbook that can't handle Windows, you can breathe life into it by installing Lubuntu. The distribution uses a small amount of RAM and CPU resources, which allows you to get fast performance even on older devices. In addition, Lubuntu is based on Ubuntu, so it has access to a huge number of packages and software from the official Ubuntu repositories. This provides a wide range of possibilities to customize the system and choose the necessary programs. Pros, a very fast and lightweight system that supports the same packages and applications as its big sister Ubuntu. Cons, the Lubuntu shell has fewer features and customization options than full desktop environments like GNOME and KDE. Ubuntu Studio is for digital content creators. Those who edit their own movies, write and mix music, do 3D modeling, draw or layout, should try a specialized distribution Ubuntu Studio. The system has a huge number of tools for professional creation of multimedia content, audio, graphics, video, animation, photos, as well as printed publications. Among the built-in Ubuntu Studio applications are Synfig Studio, in which you can create 2D animations, Darktable and Raw Therapy for photo editing, as well as Kdenlive, Pativi, and OpenShot for video editing, Ardor and Rose Garden for sound engineers, Krita and Gimp for artists, and much more. Pros, 
Lots of professional software pre-installed and customized in advance. Cons. Ubuntu Studio is needed only for professional content creators. Beginners will have a hard time here. That's all for now. I hope you found it interesting. If it was, please put a like and subscribe to the channel.